Cherokee angler Dakota Page is a three-time high school all-state fisherman, and you won't find anyone without gills who's more passionate about the water. Name of the game, catch fish. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the name of the game right now, catch big fish, hopefully. It's, it truly is a blessing to come out and do the thing that I love, the thing that I'm passionate about. Just my parents, they've been so supportive. I mean, without them, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't even be close to here. I'd still be fishing ponds. They were nice enough to buy me a boat and that kind of set off a complete journey. I enjoy just being outside. It's kind of like an escape. It's like you got your worries and troubles of life and you can just go on the lake and then not even catch fish, just be outside on the water. And it's something about it just relaxes me. I have fished for ever since I can remember. Um, it's been my passion. I grew up fishing for like crappie and bass and here I am long, long time later uh, fishing competitive bass tournaments. Just like someone loves, I don't know, reading, I love fishing. I went fishing with my grandpa a lot, uh, just for crappie and stuff. Um, I think that was when I kind of caught my first fish. Um, but I, I remember um, just fishing like normal ponds and getting so excited over like a five inch little bluegill. Um, and that's kind of what started it. Like just going out with my family and then it doesn't even have to be a big fish. Fishing, it's very tedious. The weather plays a huge part. The amount of rain, the how cold the weather is, how hot the weather is. Every little bit of that ties in fishing and it adds to solving the puzzle. Of course, morning time, that's most of the time when they eat a lot. Um, it's like eating breakfast for us. And then when that sun gets up, they try to find shade. And I think, I, I don't know what they do unless I had goggles underwater. I don't know, it's hard to tell under the water. But we fishermen, as fishermen, we like to try, like to, try to, like to figure that out. Like everyone can say everything about it, but you truly never know. And that's what I love about fishing. It's just like a mystery. It's like solving a puzzle. I think a lot of fishing, especially on a tournament level or just fun fishing, is kind of like a mental attitude. Like I wear this, I wear this bracelet that says positive mental attitude. I try to wear it every time I'm fishing. Um, just having that right attitude that you're gonna catch fish or just enjoy your day, just look at the positive sides of things. Because everyone sees fishing as like, oh, you snag your lure and you lose it. That kind of sucks. But um, you just look at the positive side and you just go out and have fun. And whenever you have fun, that's when you're going to catch the most fish, and that's when you're going to fish the best. So fishing, when I was younger, uh, it was always, it was like a fun, fun thing to do. I'd say about freshman year, that's when I said, I'm going to put my foot down and I'm going to go. I'm just going to run with it and see where it takes me. No. Open your mouth. It's one of them. There we go. Started out kind of slow, uh, did pretty decent. We caught fish kind of all day, just necessarily didn't get the big bites, um, which was unfortunate, but that's just, that's just fishing. I'm not really disappointed. But I'm, all in all, I'm happy with our performance. I'll be attending UCO in the fall, and I'll be on the bass fishing team, the competitive bass fishing team, which is like a dream of mine, because uh, ever since I started competitive fishing, I'm like, okay, the next step after high school is college. Almost the big league, like it's college and then pro. So I'm, I'm almost there, which is just amazing. My parents are supportive. Without them, I wouldn't be here. They've kind of done everything for me. Kind of all of my, my achievements and all the success kind of goes to them. They're kind of like the unspoken hero. Because of course I'm here, I'm Dakota Page, I'm catching the fish. But they're kind of the ones that, that are behind the scenes that people don't really see. The biggest thing that he does that separates him from everybody else is he's always learning. The hours that he spent on YouTube watching videos, the hours that he spent watching the professional anglers. I mean, there's a lot of kids that love to fish, um, but he's put the time in learning about how the bass behave and the water temperature and all the variables that are involved and the baits and, and tips from the pros. I mean, he's learning from the best in the world. And so what we've gone through um, with the loss of our daughter, almost four years ago. This has been his therapy. As hard as it's been for him, the fishing has helped his heart heal, and that's what I'm most thankful for, um, for the fishing. <laughs>
is that he's found a way to um, to keep living and find a passion and something that he can focus on. I think Cherokee to me, it, it's very important to me, um, especially when I was younger. I think it kind of helped me become who I am today, whether that be the language program, going to like the language and the challenge bowls. So it's just so interesting and intriguing to me that I get to know about that and it just means a lot to me. Fishing, it takes me kind of everywhere. Um, yeah, locations, but kind of like in my mind, it takes me everywhere. I kind of found fishing as a savior. Um, it kind of helps ease the pain of life. When life brings me down, I just get a rod and reel, go out into a pond or a lake, and it seems like everything just disappears. It's just me enjoying the what God's created. You know, just that being outdoors, I and mean, that's what I love.